Hello everybody, this is a very 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 simple video on what a MOSFET is and does. A MOSFET is a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor and this is what it looks like. So this is how it looks like and it has basically three terminals, the drain, the source, and the gate. Now that you know what it looks like, let's define what a MOSFET is. And there are two important terms that you must know, and it's right in front of our faces, the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. So the most, the two terms we have to emphasize are the field effect and the transistor. And that's what basically the MOSFET is. So first, let's define what those terms mean. A field effect basically means that something is caused by a certain voltage source. So depending on the magnitude of a voltage, it would do something externally. A transistor, the second term, is something that amplifies or switch electronic signals such as uh, not only signals but also current in this case. So combining the field effect definition and the transistor definition together we now know what a MOSFET is and that it is something that that can amplify or switch electronic signals that is caused by a voltage source. So here we have scenario here three different circuits and we have a circuit where we have a high voltage source and a trap and then there's a ground now we have the situation here where in this situation the current is zero and here a little bit of current is passing through the ground and in this situation where a lot of current is traveling to the ground now what the MOSFET can do is that it can do all of these kinds of scenarios with its capability. So in this here in this situation here, it can act as a switch which basically switches off entirely of the circuit and no current is passing and that essentially there is infinite resistance and it is a open circuit. Here there is very little current that is passing through. You know the resistance is still relevant, but here a lot of current is flowing through and the resistance is very little. And with the MOSFET and using utilizing the knowledge of field effect, an external voltage source could apply to all of these conditions. So let's look at our MOSFET. Uh, this is an N-type MOSFET. So this symbol right here we are given again. And Let's apply that circuit into this MOSFET, shall we? So we had that positive 10 volt here, and then we had here the ground. Now utilizing the field effect null, uh, theory, what this basically means is that the voltage between the gate and the source is the voltage that could control the current passing from this part of the circuit down here and it can vary as well so what that basically means I'm going to write it down right here that it can affect these three variables so the first thing that I've already mentioned is the current and we can uh, write that as ID the second is the resistance between DS and we call that RDS and the third is the voltage across the drain and the source VDS and that's how the field effect works in this situation where the voltage gate source could affect these three variables So 
Let's apply the situation and conditions. If the voltage VGS is low, then our drain current is next to zero, close to zero. Our resistance RDS is very high, high to the point where it almost acts as an open circuit. And also VDS is low as well. Now let's apply our situation when if VGS is high. If VGS is high, then ID is moderate to high depending on the magnitude of VGS. RDS will be very low. So low that it will have an exponential effect. VDS will be high. So this is our field effect condition on what would basically happen. Now let's look at a graphical standpoint. So let me zoom out a little bit. Try to focus this on more. So if let's say that VGS, we have this graph, and over time VGS will be basically increasing. And it increases linearly. Well, you may be wondering, will the drain current increase linearly as well? Well, actually not. It will, however, be zero in a short period of time in the beginning. So this is how the drain current would work and look like, where it's essentially zero, and up at a certain point, it will increase linearly, and then later it will actually plateau. For a resistance, it's the opposite effect, but it also, as I've mentioned, will have an exponential decrease. So at this point, when the current is slowly going up, linearly, the resistance will be going down, just like that. Now, I've shown you how the drain current would act like, and the voltage between the drain and the source will have the same effect, same graph like VGS. Now, this is what Go, is is what gets interesting is that what is this line here now this is a pretty important line boundary and this boundary is basically the region between the cutoff and the linear mode this is the cutoff where essentially voltage there is some uh, voltage between the gate and the source, but then it's a cutoff because the circuit is open and there is no current flowing through the drain to the source at all. And also the resistance is very, very high. But when there is current that is able to go through, that point is called, and this is a pretty important thing to point out, this is the voltage threshold, where once that a voltage between the gate and the source passes through the value of the threshold voltage, current will be flowing through. Now the last thing, I want to just first write this down, this is the linear mode. Now the linear mode doesn't go through this graph because there is another mode that I haven't mentioned and that is called the saturation mode right here. And the border between the saturation and the linear mode is when the current saturates and plateaus, as you can see, I've drawn here. So at this point, even though when the voltage between the gate and the source is increasing, there will come a certain point where the drain current cannot increase anymore. 
And that is good because we don't want the MOSFET to overheat. So, how do we apply this mathematically, understanding the three modes, the cutoff, where the current is not flowing at all, linear, where the current is steadily increasing depending on the rate of change of the voltage between the gate and the source, and the saturation mode, when the current is not changing at all. Well, very simple. And that is where the operating mode conditions are explained. So if the voltage gate source is below the threshold, that will be the cutoff mode. When the voltage drain source is less than the difference between VGS minus the threshold voltage, that will be the linear mode. And when the voltage drain source is now greater than this this difference, then it will be in saturation mode. So there you have it, the most simplest way to explain what a MOSFET is. And the MOSFET, as I've explained, is the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. And it is something that is able to amplify or switch electronic signals that is caused by a voltage source, also known as the voltage gate source. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.